Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Major Cultural Practices of the Ndebele Tribe The Ndebele Tribe mainly comprises the Bantu-speaking African people who live in the Limpopo and Mpumalanga provinces in South Africa. They originate from the main Nguni-speaking peoples who migrated to the Transvaal region in the 17th century. At that time, they resided in hamlets and practiced animal husbandry and the cultivation of crops for survival. They cultivated maize, beans, sweet potatoes, millet, among others. The Ndebele women were skilled at art, they created elaborate beadwork of various kinds and painted the walls of their homes with brightly colored geometric designs. Urbanization is beginning to change the patterns of the Ndebele people as a number of men have left agriculture to work in mines and do other jobs in neighboring towns. These people have three significant stages in their marriages. First is the labola, which is the bride price paid in installments. This is paid with money and livestock. The second stage of the Ndebele wedding is the two-week isolation of the bride. This is a time for her to learn from other women who are experienced wives and mothers. They teach her to be a good wife according to the Ndebele tradition. The third stage comes later when the bride has her first child. Before the wedding at all, the man sends a letter to the family of the lady he is interested in. This letter is basically to request a date for the bride price negotiation. He then buys a sheep, some blankets, a few clothes and a broom for the family of his desired bride. He goes with his parents on the agreed date for the bride price payment, taking the items along. The bride-to-be then returns home with them to get familiar with her soon-to-be family. To prepare for the wedding day, the groom compiles a guest list and sends out invitations. As the day draws nearer, they cook a variety of food and as the Ndebele tradition requires, the menu must include merely a pub, which is a traditional maize meal. There are also meats, salads, fruits, sweets and cakes among the wedding food options. During the wedding ceremony, all married women are expected to wear a jokolo, which is a special apron made from goat skin and decorated with colorful beads. This symbolizes a mother who is surrounded by children. After the festivity of the wedding, the Ndebele people do something unique. The oldest man in the family stays back with all the parents and grandparents to give the bride a Ndebele name. The weddings of the Ndebele people are not considered successful until the wife has her first child. Ndebele newborns live with their maternal grandparents for two or three days to receive their name, while their paternal relatives also give a name. Their family structure is patriarchal. The father is the head of the family and all family members in the homestead answer to him. All Ndebele wives are mandated to submit to their husbands. People who died in rural Ndebele areas were buried the following day because preserving the body against decomposition was a challenge. Besides this, they were also uncomfortable keeping a dead person around them. During the burial, attendees performed a traditional throwing of stone on the grave, which they call Ukufosa Iliche. The Ndebele people are big on religious rituals. The king is regarded as the high priest of the entire tribe, while the chiefs are priests of their households and extended families. Whenever there are droughts and epidemics, 
the high priest communicates with the supernatural to know the cause of the problem and solve it. Unkulunkulu is believed to be the creator of the Ndebele people. They also believe that he was the first human being who ever lived. Their belief extends to Unkulunkulu and his wife Mvelengani emerging out of a marshy place where they found cattle and grain in abundance awaiting them. The couple then lived together and had children to whom they passed on their culture and tradition. When Unkulunkulu and Mvelengani grew old, they went into the ground and lived as snakes. Another critical aspect of the Ndebele tradition is male initiation known as Wela or Ngoma. Done every four years, boys aged 15 to 18 years old are taken to a chief's residence, put through some rituals and made to bid farewell to boyhood. Some of the world's notable people are from the Ndebele tribe. What have we missed out of these cultural practices? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.